The next question, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sahar. I'm a student at university and live in Pakistan. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not directly send the glorious Quran so that people can follow it? Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send the Torah before the Quran? In this way, we will get confused. Why should we follow the Torah, then the Bible and now the Quran? If there is only one holy book, the Quran, all should follow it and there will be no conflicts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Raj, chapter number 13, verse number 38, لِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ kitab. For each period we have sent a book. By name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil and the Quran. The Torah was the Wahid revelation that was given to Moses, peace be upon him. The Zabur was the Wahid revelation that was given to David, peace be upon him. The Injil was the Wahid revelation that was given to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And the Quran is the last and final revelation that was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So by name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. But there were several other revelations. For example, Suhfa Ibrahim, the scrolls of Prophet Ibrahim. But all the revelations before the glorious Quran, they were only meant for those people and for that time. They were time bound. But the glorious Quran, it is not meant only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs. But the glorious Quran, it is meant for the whole of humanity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, Alif Lam Ra, Kitabun Anzalnahu Ilaik, Li Tukhrij al Nasa min Abdulumati ilan Nur. The book is revealed to thee in order to lead mankind from the depths of darkness into light. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52, Here is a message. Let them take warning thereof, and let them know that there is one God. Let men of understanding take heed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, Shahru Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an hudal lil-Nas wa bayinatim min al-Huda wal-Furqan. Ramadan is the month in which the glorious Qur'an was revealed as a guidance for mankind. So the glorious Qur'an, it is a guidance for the whole of humanity. So the glorious Quran, it is meant for the whole of humanity. Now why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveal the glorious Quran directly? The previous revelations that were revealed, they were meant for those people and for that time. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not reveal the glorious Quran directly, perhaps because the people, they would not be able to grasp the message. And I would like to give you a simple example. When we study in school, we study gradually and step by step. For example, nursery, junior kg, senior kg, first standard, second standard, third, fourth, fifth, until 10th grade. Then we have college, then we have graduation, post-graduation, etc. So it is a gradual and step by step procedure. You cannot directly study in 10th grade. You have to study 1st grade, 2nd grade, 3rd grade. The student cannot tell the teacher, the teacher, why do we have to study 10 years? Why don't I directly study in 10th grade? It is a gradual and step-by-step -step procedure. Similarly, because the people, they would not be able to grasp the message. So first previous revelations were revealed based on the understanding and capability of the people. Later on, the message kept on getting more difficult based on the grasping power of the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the glorious Quran. Previously, the people, they were not so advanced. So that's the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did not reveal the glorious Quran directly. He revealed previous revelations which were meant for those people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not preserve these revelations because he did not think it fit to preserve them. They were only meant for those people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Hijr, chapter number 15, verse number 9, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. And it is we who have revealed the glorious Quran and it is we who will guard it from corruption. So the glorious Quran, it is guarded from corruption. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that he will guard the glorious Quran from corruption.